Good evening, my name is TF2 Public Verum, TF2 Tyrant.com, Project Beta UK. Uh, I ain't gonna read the, the right act, I think most of you know who I am and know what's going on, so we'll just leave it from there. Now, in any case, they're in Gravel Pit. You know, uh, it's a map I really, really quite like, actually. Um, I think it is the inspiration for, you know, games like Steel and all that. Variable point maps, and even the uh, new one, I can't remember which one is the three points, you've got the uh, kind of like a domination game kind of thing, but, you know. Gravel Pit though does have its certain place in TF2, it's one of the original, I think, starters, and, you know, it hasn't really managed to persist into the game, into the game, but, you know, it's a lovely map by itself, and I know quite a few players who love doing this. That's it, stand in, yeah, that's it, stand in, kind of, I think it's been stand in inspired, that yeah, was inspired by this map, so that's where, you know, where it's going from. Anyway, let's look at teams today, well, blue team is looking definitely ready to push. Might be a little bit admin heavy, but I think it should work. And red, on the other hand, I think it's a lot more aggro looking. But let's see how this goes. I don't know how Effin did that, but he managed to kill the pyro burning him. No, in any case, Uber's out. Dr. Prohibition fanning in the, in the van. We, uh, various other Ubers going on at the same time. And trying to kill him off, but you know, this is like a good start from blue here. They just, you know, immediately blitz the uh, a B point. Usually, you see, you know, a blue team go straight for A, but today, no, nope, no, nope, we're going to take B. We're going to get this shit over and done with. Actually, to be fair, what they've done is a nice little strategy of they can take B, A, re B really quickly. Red team aren't expecting it, they may have to regroup quicker, but right now, blue are doing an excellent job of just simply holding it and consolidating, and this is looking like a quick push. That is damn quick for point B. Uh, you don't see point B go down that quickly. Now, point A is not as easily defensible, so what are Red going to do? Right now, Pancake Pie there. Lacking very badly. Uh, your connection doesn't look so good, ma'am. And also, being stabbed doesn't help either. There's uh, Shay. On the point. Nasty capping away. This looks like a quick game for a blue here. Blue team hasn't really managed to, you know, move from point B to A yet. A bit, a bit faster progress, but nice. Oh, wow. Nice double stab there from Mean Bear and keeping blue team alive. Uh, I think Cab Forks there was really, really trying to make sure things get off the point. Uh, unfortunately, he killed himself in the process by aiming too close to the floor with the soldier. Uh, that that will happen. The soldier mentality of, I'm going to make sure everything dies by making sure the rocket explodes on the floor. Unfortunately, I'm also connected to the floor. But this is looking ridiculously fast for Gravel Pit. And that's 10 minutes on the clock here. This is looking bad for Red Team already. Now, they need to do anything about actually getting on that point and staying there, because Blue Team might decide to blitz that straight away. At the moment, though, it does look as if Red Team are doing a reasonably good job. But one thing I will say about Blue, though, is they're kind of fast getting to point, but they're not very fast moving between them. Something does seem to be a little off here. Nice work there from Till. And this is looking horrific. Uh, our red team's just about all the rocket jumps up there. Yeah, it's not looking good for red. They're, they're having to, you know, pull out all the stops now rather than get anything prepared. This is looking very bad. No engineers on red team. I think this they have engineers, but I have no clue where they are right now. They are just seemingly not in the zone. Uh, he may have a point. Uh, you have scored zero points, but you know, maybe you know. The thing is, though, if the engineers were all on one point and they got moved to another, and they're not sure where they're going or what they're doing, um, that might be an issue. But right now, though, Red has managed to reclaim the area. But it's eight minutes on the clock here. This is going to be a tough match for them. And Shay dies in full damage. Now this is one place where the Heli Hoovy could really triumph. Um, you know, floating up to the top point there might be quite uh, a threat. However, though, um, you know, Red Team actually recovered magnificently. They're actually now holding all the entrances. That's a good way of doing things. Yeah, I see what's going with the points and teams here. Well. 
yeah, red team's definitely got a much more damage capable team. The problem with blue team is um, overabundance of a certain admin class. They just don't have the sheer firepower to move up with. They, they, they seem to be really great at getting... When they're on points, they can hold them, but they just can't seem to grab this last one. To be fair, it's a really tricky point. Third jump there showing no fear. Also, no internal organs either, as he's now in several pieces. I think they got promoted to external organs. Mini sentry... Uh, looks like, yeah. I mean, we're seeing uh, uh, Lazy Mole there really push up by himself. He's actually doing a nice bit of commando work for the pyro there. Sh we haven't seen Shaggy in a while. Um, ooh, where are you, best career? Say it in team chat that I can find you. Oh, wait, no, no, I found you. I found you. I found you. Oh, okay. I thought you might be there. Okay, you're doing it right. Now, can you get the last bit of equipment up and running? Unfortunately, though, you've got problems of your own. So, um, yeah, it's not looking good for you. But, red team is doing well. They've managed to recover this game. And it's simply because blue haven't decided to go on the full offense yet. They really, really need to get soldiers, demo men, and heavies out there. And right now, they're using too many medics, well, medics are good, spies and engineers right now, they just don't have the firepower, although saying that though, one pyro nearly wins the entire match, and I didn't nearly see that. Oh boy, now that's the thing, uh, commentator does need to shut up and watch sometimes. Oh. And, wow, okay, Spar wins that. Uh, the, I think the soldier fell off the point and um, didn't realize where the edge was. That's what they're blue team. Okay, round two, and this time we're going to see the blue team with the aggro mode engaged. Get on with it. And look at blue team, they're jumping around for joy. Um, I think that in their morale's harm, their team, I think that they do feel as if they can kick any ass right now from any distance. Um... Now, the thing is, they've got good guys. Now, what are they going to do? Wh wh where are they going to move? Now, red team, the problem is that they are playing very heavy admin. They managed to trick their way onto the point there and managed to grab things up quickly enough. S but here's the problem. If they get broken by blue, and by literally broken, you know, on his lap, and he decides to basically snap their spine in half, yeah, no, that might be fatal. Um, the blue team actually get their blitz on and get moving. They they're going to be a uh, force to be reckoned with. Doors open. And it's a relatively serene advance. Uh, right now, blue team just feels like it's going out for a picnic right now. And I think, yeah, they've gone for let's grab a strat. And, you know, that's working very nicely. Um, very, very nice, actually. I mean, time seven on the cap there. I mean, uh, red team's thinking about, you know, maybe we should reattack re this area or kind of defend it somewhat. And, um, but yeah, no, that's the thing. I mean, red, blue team just second guessed uh, red team. And, oh, before that we could get there, no, nope, that's done. Uh, yeah, you missed your chance there, red team. You did, you couldn't get it there quickly. But yeah, now blue team's got eight minutes on the clock here. They've got plenty of time. Now, red team, you think about where they're going to defend and what they're going to do. Oh, there's Eltor. Up the shenanigans. Rock, paper, scissors, boys. Who's with me? But from the looks of it, though, Blue Team has decided to take a more conventional route. And I thought they were going around the back end, but they're not really going for it. And right now, the Critzers are out. And, oh dear God, dank techies. And fast, faster, they're really, you know, showing how Soldier is done. And right now, Danky is really trying to hold the area, he's burning to death, and he fell on the floor in a heap of ash. But look at this though, I mean, it's not looking good here for a red team. They are really having, struggling to hold this right now. Shay, quit with the binds, man. Ugh. Now, in any case, time's half on the cap here. Time's six on the cap now, it's looking good for blue team. 
And I think that's back to 10 minutes on the clock here. Now, Red Team has got some... The problem is Red Team haven't really got much of a presence, and this is the problem with admin teams. Although, to be fair, though, I think they're um, quickly rearming themselves to bigger guns and weaponry. But, from the looks of their engineering is superior. They have actually got sentries in good places. <laughs> Fast over there. Not sure if died from sentry damage, not sure if died from falling damage, but that was up, up and away right there. Now, for the time being, though, 9 minutes 24. Red team's holding the point. Uh, North Korea, seriously? It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off. Oh, that's some lovely, lovely side burning work from Shea right there. Finishes that guy off for his hubris of plonking a sentry that close. But right now, it looks like the, uh, the Blue Soldier conglomerate is. Uh, the Blue Soldier group. And uh, uh, including backup partner. Oh, you know, capping this nice and it's down to Dank. Oh, no! There it goes. I said it for your blitz, and there it goes. Nice and unbluting. Now, round three, and we are taking casualty from the sheer amount of dinners being prepared for various people. Um, it happens to all of us, especially if you haven't moved out. Especially worse if you haven't moved out and you're in your 20s. Yes. It's, uh, anyway, um. <laughs> Blue team, okay, looks like they've got their push on, but they're still... This is the thing with blue team, they're not really adapting to aggro mode. They're kind of holding on a little bit to admin strings. And like, no, I, li I, like the, I like helping. Can I just help? No, you need to shoot something. Uh, you know, uh, this, this is what happens when, you know, you, you're, in, you're in Valve tier, you've got five snipers, and they're basically what they're saying is, I'm helping. Yeah, but you're not doing anything. It's like time, you know, time is zero by something. You get nothing. Now, only because that red, though, still wanting to play this game properly, and you know the scores are reflecting that. It's, not, it's looking good day for red. Am I echoey? I'm sorry. I mean, uh, I'm not sure if that's uh, me or not. Um, I'm uh, is it echoey. Where are you guys? Do I sound okay? I ain't recording in the bathroom. Yeah, that's probably more like reverb settings on your PC, man. I'm not sure what's going on there. Oh, thank you, Shay. <laughs> now, in any case, time's five on the cap here. <laughs> now, in any case, the A point is going quickly again. Looks like, you know, everybody's walking back. So, I, I love the, the quick B attack, though. That was uh, immensely fun to watch. It was like, wait, what? When does the team attack B? And they're already attacking it now. Um, I don't know how that's happening or who's doing it. It's one. It's one pyro. Shay, he's trying his best. Uh, maybe some help there from a spy of sorts. But yes. Now blue team is making its way to red side. Yeah, the spies are getting somewhat picked on right now, and Doctor Frobisher are fanning. I don't think I've seen Dr. Prohibition Fanning play any other class. Um, I think he's the Eternal Heavy. And by Eternal, he's always heavy. Uh, uh, not so much in terms of lifespan, but more in terms of occupation. You know, I was actually asked the other day, what do I mean? I said heavy. But, you know, the thing is, you can't tell with me sometimes, because I, I play every class. <laughs> I don't know what it is, man. It just seems that your get-up is very distinctive. Uh, wolf hat with sh with short shorts. It's it, it, it's hard to not m it's hard to miss that. <laughs> oh dear, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> now, in any case, point B is going. One last bid for stopping it, but nope, nothing at all. And okay, back to nine minutes forty. Okay, so this red team managed to make sure they didn't get reached 10 minutes with only, you know... Oh, wait, what's this? Um, where it does look as if somebody tried capping the point prematurely there, and that's a great way to panic a team. And, uh, you know, that's the, that's the kind of thing that people go, Wait, what? We're capping it? Let's get in there! And, you know, something that really works. Oh, Shay there with the M2 power. Oh, my God. 
The M2 for the win right there. Can they get a happy in time? And there it goes. Another storming victory here for a blue team again. Will anything stop the blue team?